I do want to thank my family uh, for all the sacrifices. My wife Patty, uh, my daughter Karen. I did see Andy's over here. That's <laughs> oh, there he is. My son Andy. Uh, their families are here. Uh, my brother Bob, my brother Dan also made the trip. Uh, you know, I, I really appreciate it. For Patty and the kids, uh, you know, I know you had sacrifice on that. Uh, for the majority of my career, I, I worked a second shift, so I was gone from 3 to 11, uh, part of, some of it from uh, 7 or 8 at night to 4 in the morning. Uh, so there was a lot of things that I wasn't there for them with. Uh, Patty certainly did a good job with uh, filling in for me on things, uh, raising the kids. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, also express my appreciation for that. Uh, everybody I've worked with has just been great. Uh, from the uh, patrol officers I came up with and worked with, the supervisors, uh, uh, you know, people that I looked up to to, to help. Uh, uh, that's my grandson. Uh, to help shape my career, um, you know, and, and just recognize Terry Lambert is here, who was the assistant chief prior to me, and really had a, a big impact. I just I always admired the way he did the job. Uh, I admired the, the job he did do there and was what really you know, led me to, to uh, go or have a goal of, of getting to that position in the department. So I, I want to thank Terry for that. Uh, you know, other supervisors, Tom Rashke is not here, uh, but I just had a lot of good influences that, that helped shape me as the, the officer that I was. And along with that, there were other officers that I would observe. Uh, as I came on that had traits and qualities that I thought, uh, that's, that doesn't seem to be working for them. I don't think it will work for me. And that really is what shaped me for my career is just the coworkers that I worked with. I had a lot of good things for that. So That's really all I have to say. Uh, it's been a good career. I really enjoyed working. Never questioned uh, whether I'd gone into the right career or not. And a lot of that had to do with the people that I worked with. So this evening, having a celebration of uh, your career and your retirement, you know, how does it uh, feel? Is it starting to sink in now that uh, we're at the end? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I just, uh, when something like this is planned, you just, just don't know, you know, who's going to show up, how many are going to show up. I'm really touched by the, the crowd that showed up and the people here. Uh, you know, it, it gives you kind of a feeling of the impact that you did have throughout your career with the city and, and with individuals in the city and that. And, uh, it's very gratifying. I, uh, you know, I enjoyed the night. Okay. And then, so in, in your career as an officer, what, what got you into the field and what kept you in the field? Well, um, you know, what got me, I, kind of in high school I started to develop an interest in it. Uh, it was a job that allowed me to work outside. Uh, it was a job that allowed me to see a lot of the city. Uh, and then as I, as I got into the job and worked it, uh, I just found I really enjoyed that interaction with the people, uh, you know, the situations you were able to help them with and, you know, hopefully make a, an impact on their life. Uh, even in the situations where, you know, we had to make an arrest and, and somebody was not uh, happy with that, uh, you know, it was always my goal to treat them well and, you know, hopefully have them think, well, at least he treated me fairly on it and, that. and I think I accomplished that in, in a lot of cases also. So it was very just a gratifying for me personally uh, way to interact with people and, and I just got to the point that this, you know, I realized this is what I wanted to do and this was my career.